What's up guys, welcome back to the Biden League. This is the last game of the day. This is also the last game of Group A. And unfortunately, it is not a game that affects the standings. So we might have a little bit more of a chaotic game going on here as both teams probably just going to take this game a, a little bit more laid back, which is fine as long as it's entertaining. It's, uh, as I said, the last game and uh, we'll see how it goes down. On Mike Loris, going to be one of your casters. Got D-Sword here as well. Man, that last game from BBC was insane. I can only hope that they're going to top this, but now that it doesn't really matter, I don't know if that's going to happen. Ten seconds. Yeah, <clears throat> honestly, that last game was very fun to watch. Uh, what do you make about the acts and those combos, those Five team fights? Uh, it's why I enjoy seeing BBC against um, these kind of teams. It's, it's it's easier for them to crumple up, and I love it. And <laughs> Techie's being picked, so I, I don't know. I can I can die happy, I guess. Magnus Techie is actually a very legitimate thing. I've done it in pubs with friends so many times. I just I love it. <laughs> All right, so as I said, this doesn't really affect anything Radiant in the grand scheme of things. Bad. So Techie's not really going to be your most serious pick, although at a certain point he will be a serious pick. Being able to skewer people into mines is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know how often it's going to happen in this particular game. And also oh. Black, in response to the Techie's immediately seconds, picking really? up the Zeus. It's a hero that has True Sight without having to actually Five buy True Sight, remaining. which is pretty sweet against Techie's. Yeah, it is true. So uh, Black is, is hates time. techies as much as most people do, so they will be using that hero pretty effectively, hopefully. Um, but if BBC has played with techies before, they probably can mine places where you really it's hard to detect unless you know the place or mind. So uh, I'm waiting to see. Because I, I remember the first time that techies were seen in competitive, it was with Vichy Gaming, and it was actually Black himself playing him. And it was obviously he had never played Techies before, or he had played him very, very little because of the mind placements and the way he was playing. So I'm hoping to see BC, you know, Radiant rock us some Techies and show us that it's viable here. Way back in the day of Dota 1, you would see Techies played occasionally. Uh, I yeah. don't even remember watching. It was like really long time ago, back on Luminous's like first channel, where it's like Luminous some other numbers instead of what yeah. Luminous Inverse or whatever he's at right now. So. Yeah, that was way back in the day. I remember it was the Southeast Asian scene that would pick up the hero, and it was entertaining as all hell. I don't really know how good it was, though. What Techies does have going for him, that's, like, really, really legit, two things. The stasis stun, that is a crazy amount of CC, and also the ability to put landmines at the base of towers and then blow them up and do damage to the structures. That is an insane amount of damage, so... You know, you can say what you want about Techies, how he is a cheesy hero, and I'm pretty sure everyone is going to agree with you. He does some things very, very well. No, I love this hero. I love him so much. Um, no, sorry if you have played with me in the pub, but the te Techies just, I, I think it actually has legitimate potential. I think it was Mineski, if I'm not mistaken, in the Southeast Asian scene, like back the old, oh, not the one right now. I used to run him. And uh, it was pretty effective. You can also use Stasis Trap with a combination with Yol Scepter. It's actually not that bad. And with a Magnus, you can set up a Stasis Trap and use the RP. And you're most likely going to be able to pull that off. That's an insane stun. I mean, that's 4-second stun plus the around 4 seconds. It's around 8-second uh, stun if you can pull it off completely. So it's pretty good. It's really pretty good. So can't wait to see those amazing combos. And they're going to go for the Tiny Techie now as well. All right, so they got the uh, Techies technology up in this game. Unfortunately, we're not going to see the uh, the Pudge Techies, which is also pretty sweet, being able to drag people in, oh, very yeah. similar to the Skewer. But tossing Techies towards the enemies and then just you know using the Techies as a grenade is also pretty <laughs> legit. So uh, BBC going to have a very core-heavy matchup. It looks like it's going to be a supporter four-position Techies, it looks like, for right now. Is Even if it does go to a late-game stage, they got Tiny and Slark to hold it down. But Black, we've been kind of ignoring their draft because it's... It mostly doesn't have techies in it, but uh, Doom as a response to everything that BPC have, mainly the Slark and techies, a very nice pick. And Lion, of course, the same thing with the point-click disables. Black has a very solid lineup going for them right now. Yeah, I mean, Black is, is going a little bit slightly more serious. Uh, Lion is very powerful against the Slark to begin with uh, because of the disables and the amazing nuking potential, and against the techies as well because you can't prevent the suicide with that. The Doom is also very powerful against the Magnus, if you get a Blink Doom, good initiation, whatnot. And the only hero I don't see that powerful is the Vengeful in this case, because even though it's a solid pick, the swap can harm you more than it oh my helps you, and punch, Die punch techies. Uh, I'll, I'll let you take that, because you mentioned it earlier. Man, it's the same thing. They just want to bring people into mines. I have seen uh, Leviathan play with the support Pudge, and I think that's probably the most viable way to mm -hmm. perform with this game, but... Who knows what's going to be happening. For Black, as long as they get heroes that are good at punishing melee heroes, then they'll be fine. Because right now, BBC, they have 
pretty much zero lane control. Like, I don't really think that was really on the top of the list of priorities for them. But uh, their lanes are pretty bad. They have a whole bunch of melee heroes and then techies. <laughs> Play just support, I guess, and techie support yeah. is the play. Or you can, I don't know, play something weird. Fan with support, I guess. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting to see. Uh, Black is has the two supports, yeah. Uh, Zeus core, Tomb core. So I guess they're missing a carry in this case. Maybe life dealer actually would be pretty legitimate. Except the techies, the normal mines hit you, but now the remote mines, that's pretty good. And uh, obviously destroys Pudge and pretty decent against Tiny. Uh, I actually don't know. Does Crag exterior? Crag exterior does not go through through the magic meter, does it? If you're magic immune, you will not be stunned. So okay. anyone else would need a BKB if they effectively want to hit tiny. So life yeah, so seems life pretty reasonable. Yeah. So yeah, that, that makes sense. So it, it would be a, a pretty, pretty good pickup here, I would say. Um, but by now, I don't know. I think Black is kind of in shock. They don't really know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, they were already joking around with each other in the lobby, and yeah. they're actually joking around in the chat right now. You are not people. We hate you. We'll be gentle. <laughs> They were talking about the fast lane. Now carry it's ready techies? Now. Carry techies? Storm I hope so. Oh, Storm. Alright, well, Storm Spirit is fine. I mean, BBC there. Actually having quite a bit of crowd control, but, you know, just Storm Spirit as a hero is one that is going to make good on the fact that, again, BBC don't really have many ways of uh, catching up and keeping up with the Storm Spirit being all melee. So, Storm Spirit's going to be the last hero for Black, most likely going to take up the role over in the mid lane. Uh, BBC, I don't even know what their lanes are going to look like. It's going to be chaotic as all hell. But for Black, the goal is just to get Zeus up to his levels, get Storm Spirit up to his levels, and then from there, just walk all over BBC because uh, their early game is pretty darn terrible. It's going to be an interesting <laughs> game, and of course, uh, this is mostly a just for fun game for BBC. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if they are going to plot some extremely Ten sick tech remaining. here. It's uh, a possibility. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see what ends up happening here with the techies. Let's see how powerful they are. And we are gonna have a pause. And I just want to. I'm wondering is is it gonna be a carry techies? No, it's gonna be support techies for now. Okay. So it, the second support though seems to be um, tiny. Is that uh, it? I guess if you just have toss and then suicide, <laughs> right? Is Robic support? Yeah. Uh, what's the cooldown of suicide? It's like a million years. Yeah, yeah, three that's minutes. Around, so that's about every right. three minutes, you can do something. All right, that's not bad. That's a, a kill every three minutes. That's more than most people. <laughs> so just do it every single time. Go for like the lion or the vengeful or something like that, and then so many kills. Yeah, I mean, best strategy. I'm surprised no other pros use this strategy. It's so legitimate. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's about all they they could do. Just throw the techies as a grenade and. I mean, their other lanes, they're all also going to have a whole bunch of melee heroes in them with the uh, with the Pudge, with the Slark, and with the Magnus going towards whatever lane they really want. It's uh, not really going to matter too much in the grand scheme of things, but, uh, you know, Black, they have pretty much, the perp in theory, the perfect lineup to deal with BBC, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know how good BBC's Pudge is or their Techies are tiny. I don't. These are all heroes that I just haven't seen them play before. I don't know, but the tech is kind of going crazy for Padrino Pudge. So, uh, well, at least Lex Moon is. So I think he might be good at it. I don't know. I haven't. I, I don't. I haven't really seen him with Pudge, but I guess we'll see an interesting, an interesting game for sure. I think at this point, Black is just so confused. I don't. They don't really know what to do. they the banter though is really nice between them. It shows that they're. I mean, nobody's gonna get like mad or anything. That's really nice. Yeah, you know, it's a bad situation when you're in a when you're in a game like this, and people are actually legitimately salty. That's not something that should be happening. You just be having fun with it, and Black, they kind of yeah, were... Yeah, I commend Black, though, for taking it. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, like, they so, haven't so, yeah, won any games, so... <laughs> just take it, it for the pitch of salt. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm liking the team a little bit more. I'm going to watch them in the future now. It's, just, it's nice to be able to do that, so... Either way, um, right now, let's talk a little bit of strategy. Uh, talk about BBC strategy for a second. All right, well, their strategy um, with the support techies and tiny, which I'm assuming is going to stick, they are most likely just going to be playing this very aggressively. They want to get pounce on Miracle so that they could, you know, get any sort of crowd control going. Pajuno's, you know, just wanting to get levels mass carry as well. Uh, Blink Dagger is not going to be too huge for BBC, mostly just experience. So even if they get shut down in lane and up against so many ranged heroes and then Doom seems likely, 
uh, as long as they're getting their levels, they're going to be more or less happy, I think. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> the question is, uh, the lineup is, is greedier than greedy right now. It's, it's really, really greedy here, and I don't know how well it's going to go. I mean, support Tiny, I don't really, I don't have stats right here, but I don't think it's the best um, position for the Tiny. So, uh, like, I think I think the black lineup is probably going to be a little more consistent, especially, I mean, at any stage in the game. Only issue, I guess, is if it gets to a late game, the super five-core lineup is going to win for sure. Yeah, just uh, run around with a really tanky Slark. Even Tiny can do a lot of burst damage, even though... I mean, if he gets experience, then he's going to be doing a chuckload of base damage. As far as his transition into the usual, you know, Tiny Aghanim Scepter, attack speed, kill things with the tree branch kind of thing, that's uh, not really going to be happening if he's <laughs> completely broke. But uh, yeah, for, BB for Black, they have a lot more early game, and they will be able to capitalize on that really, really hard, assuming they don't get completely demolished by the techies grenade which is always a possibility but for right now we are unpaused and we're loading out into the lanes on BBC well they're running with a very unique lineup we got Padrino on the pudge bottom lane it's gonna be miracle on the slark over towards mid Yapsor is heading down that lane as techies with soaring recipe first with Azer Dota on the tiny and up towards top mass carry is going to be playing the mag as for black we're going to see good job Oh, lol, as Mr. Doom in the offlane position, mid, we're gonna see Kadaro. What is Kadaro doing? Okay, oh, preparing for the mines already. The techie's gonna find him out. Oh, careful, man. The techie has suicide already, and Kadaro now fighting the techies one on one. I mean, the damage from the techies is almost irrelevant, but I, I guess he's trying. And the, the, tie, the toss is not actually available. He went for Avalanche first. A, Interesting. This is a bluff right now. <laughs> They're just messing around with the vengeance. If Toss was available, this would be a kill. But yeah. uh, Techies is, uh, well, the heavy artillery right now for the BBC side because he's the only range here they have. Man, if they had Toss, that would have been the kill. That's the plan, right? I guess they thought that yeah. maybe they would be able to stun out the Venge in the river, then close in and kill her off. But oh. actually, no, they're going to corner Ventral Spirit now. She's back to where she that started. Yapsor with the right clicks and Tiny closing in for an avalanche. Going to land, but they need a little bit more time. Yapsor getting a little bit closer. Not quite close enough. Kidaro, run. Not towards the mag, though. That's not where you want to run because right clicks and then a shockwave. Not quite going to do it. The creep wave is coming in, but a little bit too far away. Where is Pudge? There he is. Hook, not going to be there. And Vengeful Spirit is going to be dying. This game is oh. going to be like that for, I would assume, the rest of the duration. Yeah, I mean, there's right now four mid for BBC side. So also finishing with the presentations, we're going to have Grief on Storm Spirit. Oh, he's going to get hooked, actually, as I'm saying. And Grief in trouble fighting for Dorino. They have the avalanche as well. Grief is going to use Static Remnants. going to be dealing a lot of damage, actually, to these three. One more Static Remnant there. And well, Techie's going to die, but two kill uh, Storm Spirit. Then finally, Totos, by the way, on the Zeus and Alex on the Lion. And wow, such hectic game already. <laughs> Boots first, Techies slowly but surely going to be chasing down that Storm Spirit. And then, uh, well, now Techies is almost completely useless since he's still level 1. Is pretty wealthy now that he has enough cash to pick up his Sage's Mask. He will be able to have that a little bit closer to his Soul Ring. But in between the suicide cooldowns with no mines available, not really going to be doing too much. Down towards bottom, we have a really, really boring lane. Like, this is, this is standard, and I don't like it. Slark versus Doom is generally Slark favored as Doom will not really be able to fight back convincingly. So uh, Slark should be just dominating this lane. <laughs> and the all chat continues with um, Punch. I don't know if he forgot to buy the stuff or whatever, but he's actually in quite a lot of trouble against Storm Spirit. being harassed pretty well uh, out of lane. And like you said, the Slark really dominated this lane against the Doom. Uh, going for a very standard build for now. I don't know if uh, Maxing Pounce is still the best build ever since they nerfed the damage. Yeah, people have been going for a lot more Dark Pact recently. Up against Black, it's worthwhile, I think, but hell, even going up against this Doom one-on-one, -on -one, I would consider getting two points in the Essence Shift just for value, but I think one-point pounce, or at least prioritizing Dark Pact, is a little bit more preferable nowadays, but either way, if you land with the pounce, you'll be able to do a lot of damage regardless, just because Doom won't really have any answers to it. Yeah, that, I mean, that is true, but... Uh... Like, like like you said, uh, if I would I would agree with that. Ever since the nerf, the slight nerf, now going for Techies though again. He has no suicide. His poor Techies can't do nothing about this, but he's actually going to run away. Wow. They can't kill the Techies. He's unkillable. He's too strong. Yeah, Techies is too tanky, man. Just <laughs> unkillable. 19 strength, 500 HP. 
I have not noticed this before. It's been a while since I played techies. Three landmines actually show up on his uh, status bar or whatever, so we know the, exactly how many mines are out on the map. And Yapsor is, of course, laying them all down in this area. So, Black, I think they probably should be aware that somewhere near this top lane jungle, like somewhere in this giant box, there are mines. But whether or not they can do anything about it is a different question entirely. Over towards top, here comes the fake Techies grenade, because he doesn't have suicide. They're going to miss that with the toss, but lots of damage up to Alex. Techies is going to die first, but at the trade of Lion. Uh, sure, so sometimes you just got to throw your ally into a really bad situation. I mean, I guess when Techies don't have suicide, he can always be a really strong, like, throwing rock or something of the sort. That's pretty, that's pretty good, I guess, for the Tiny. Not really sure if that's worth a pick. <laughs> Literally any other hero can do it. Literally a creep can do it. Just have something to throw at any stage of the game. Yeah, that's... but, like, the Techies adds um, fashion points. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you get two guys to throw, and... Maybe you land an avalanche. Oh, over towards mid, though. Pudge is dying. Uh, magic missile <laughs> just died, lightning damage from the storm. <laughs> and the trolling continues. I mean, storm has been doing a lot of damage. He's kind of those heroes that, since he's not supposedly the best in lane because he's too easy to kill in the beginning, he's deceptively strong. And that side of ground deals a lot of damage, even at level 1. He also went for 2 points in overload. Interesting, not going for that uh, arc light. I mean, sorry, electric vortex build. Yeah, oh, well. So I mean, usually you get to go packs. For pure burst, yep. and I think up against all these melee heroes, that's reasonable. Static Remnant yep. as level 1 is like one of the most ridiculous nukes, it's better than the curse of this, than the uh, last word from the silencer, it just does so much damage, so Storm Spirit putting in some work over in the mid lane, and versus Pudge, you would expect that to be the case. Up towards top though, we have Suicide prepped and ready. It w is only level 1, and it will not be lethal right now um, to anyone, unless, actually, I think you could Suicide and kill the Lion, physical 500... Yeah, I think that's lethal on the line with yeah. toss damage. Unless, actually, they're going to toss in the mag, try to scare him back into the mines, but that's not going to work at all. Now, Mass Carry is completely out of mana, even though he does have arcane boots. They're just trying to mess with them in the mines, and there are two really big mine stacks over here on this top lane. Yeah, I actually didn't notice that you could do that. I forgot about the toss skewer. I guess you can do that, pull that off too. So, Tiny is the best support ever for positioning heroes. And, um, I mean, that mines over, these mines over here actually might catch a support that wanted, wants to rotate, so they're pretty good positioning for them. Like Kadaro, he's, if he wants to reinforce the top lane, make a straight line, up towards top, suicide, there it is with the grenade. Zeus did not see that one coming. So another three minute timer, put it on the clock, we'll see that potentially happening again, but this time Soul Ring is up on Techies and he's got two mines. They are, uh, doing their best at shutting down the Zeus, and down towards bottom, the Slark is also... Still, dominating the Doom is actually keeping the Doom completely out of lane at this point. Miracle is going to have a completely free time there, and Pudge is not having a good time in the mid lane, but top is going remarkably well for BBC, even with this jank-ass support combo. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this support combo is actually doing wonders here, and it's just the psychological pressure as well. They can't really move. That's something you do with techies in a... Like, it's really not noticeable, usually, because, you know, everyone bashes techies, blah, blah, but the psychological pressure he puts upon you is really strong. Now, Avalanche being used, but fail. Uh, and, actually, Lion stunning Laser Dodo, or Azer Dodo here, and not managing to do much with it. The throw used on the Lion, but it's only a range creep, so not enough, though. Star Spirit has Ball Lightning and DD, so he might be able to kill the Magnus or even the techies, but he's got to be kind of careful with the mines, and he's not going to run into any of them. He oh, yeah. lost his DD, but he still has that... R that um, uh, Electric Vortex, and now the 4 Magnus is going to go down here to the Ball Lightning and that level 4 Overload. Wow. Uh, Techies, meanwhile, staying near his mines just to make sure he can stay safe. The Courier is going to spot him out, but I think they're not going to go for him because they know he's putting mines there. And also, Toad is throwing her Lightning Bolt. He's going to find a pretty sizable stack of mines, so no one should be dying to that anytime soon. Yapsor is going to be unsuccessful with that stack of mines. However, the Radiant's other two stacks, although attack. slightly smaller, are still pretty dangerous. Down towards bottom lane, we see rotation from Perdinho going to be looking towards the Doom, who's standing still. Ooh, that hook was very close, but that is not going to connect. And that would have been a kill, most likely, if it did connect. So, Doom's going to be safe from death for right now. Also does have his level 6, so if Black want to, they can rotate some heroes down there, and we'll try to shut down that Slark, as if you get, let a Slark free farm, they're going to be asking for a lot of trouble. It's no Midas build from the Slark, which he probably could have gone for, but... He's still ready to go as far as his damage output. Miracle now going to jump towards Doom. We'll miss everything. Or miss his pounce, rather. Yeah, that could have become a kill on the Doom, perhaps, maybe. Uh, but the Doom does have that extra armor already with those Tranquil Boots, so uh, it's going to be kind of hard to kill him. He's playing really defensively, unless they get a hook on him. And Punch, surprisingly, actually doesn't have level 6 yet. Storm already level 7. 
Uh, meanwhile, top, the Magnus actually being harassed right out of the lane. And, well, right now, it seems like the, the I mean, Black is kind of against the ropes here uh, versus, versus the aggression of the BBC team. Yeah, just having any heroes that are able to do some serious damage, like the Pudge, or like the Tiny, like, these are threatening heroes, even though they may not be laned ordinarily. Mass Carry is going to get bolted down up towards the top, but Mind Stack, they're going to try to lure them in, but... Unfortunately, BBC, they don't know that this mind stack is known, so it'll just be a kill. Actually, Vengeful Spirit's going to walk and get claimed in the mid lane. Bounty Rune was taken, but at a pretty high price. <laughs> Techie's going to get his first mind kill of the game. Well, I, I guess, like you said, easy bounty. So, is the bounty really worth the bench kill? I don't know, man. It's, it's they're very valuable, that 50 gold. Attack. Support life is hard, man. You've got to get any gold you can, and now Yapsor is going to set up another set of mines. He also has Tiny right behind him with Suicide available, though grenading Doom, that's not gonna work. You need maxed out Suicide, and even then it's probably not gonna do it, so yeah, Doom is gonna be A-OK, -okay and don't really know what the attack. Tiny and Techies have planned here. This is a pretty good place for a mine stack, although because it's so good, it's usually expected, which is therefore making it not good. So uh, we'll see if it's actually spotted or if it'll get any value. Interesting. Oh, actually, now they're going to go on Mr. Storm Spirit. <laughs> no, it's just... Uh, oh my god, are they actually trying to trap him that way? That is the, the worst trap in the yes. book now. He's going to be shot into the mines. Beautiful, beautiful throw there. Oh my god. <laughs> it's good. It's a field goal. They did it. Up towards top now, Padrino. He has the rot turned on, has the hook. He's going to back up into the mines, throw a hook. We'll throw it wide. And that would have been a kill if he landed on anyone. No, no says Toad. It's not going to happen. He's not the Storm Spirit. He's not going to fall for that one. But 6-6 six, six and the Mines, the Techies play, is actually pretty legit. Like, of course, BBC have spent all their picks, minus Slark, trying to build around this Techies. But we can already see the Techies getting some pretty Dominating. decent value as he gets Suicide Kill over towards the mid lane. That looked like it was another Toss Grenade. That's going to be the fifth kill for the Techies. Yeah, interesting thing, by the way, the, the techies is <laughs> why ca I can't stand. Yeah, okay. Uh, is that the we were talking about Magnus maybe stash strap is actually pretty powerful skills, but right now he has no levels of stash stash strap, so that's stasis trap. Sorry, so that's not going to happen at all. And it seems like Pudge, oh, right now is going to be fighting the Zeus one and one. He has no levels of flesh sheep, so that's full magical damage on him. And he's going to kill the lion first. And he's gonna go down himself to the Venge now. The Zeus using his ultimate, and the Venge swapping the Magnus, making sure that he can die. Can the Ma can the oh, no. oh the Magnus is walking through the mines, and the Zeus is almost gonna get killed by them. One more mine would have done it, and the Magnus now really wants to kill the Zeus. You're not gonna be able to get it though. Fighting the Venge still one and one, uh, really unfortunate. Just one more mine, one more mine, or one more shockwave. A little bit more of anything would have gotten the kill, and. The Thunder God's Wrath also being used, spotted out where Yapsor was creating the next mine nest, so they know exactly where that one is happening. Down towards the bottom lane, though, Slark got jumped by the Storm Spirit, and also Storm Spirit was powerful enough to chase forward for the Courier on top of that, so nice little gain there for Black. Yapsor stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's so obvious what he's trying to do right now, and it's probably not going to work. Azer Jonah's going to try to bait them in, toss back, and a huge mining explosion, triple kill! <laughs> How the hell did that happen? And Pudge, meanwhile, getting a hook shot, and I mean, a hook, sorry, and Pudge dying. And okay, wow, <laughs> that that was beautiful. Like you said, I, I didn't think it was going to work at all, but nope, <laughs> they got tricked right into it. Alright, so the way mines work is that they have like a certain AoE that they will activate, but they do damage in an AoE that's larger than that. So if you somehow get them to activate, Dyer's I think Tiny actually, or someone got like tossed over it, Dyer's so they activated and the AoE damage, though it's lessened than like the trigger Dyer's damage, it's still going to be a lot, so no, it, it was <laughs> it's a triple kill for the techies, making bank, and Padrino, he's up on top, just wants to be bait, but I'm Dyer's pretty sure Black know about this mine stack, attack. it seems like there's like some sort of gentleman's agreement not to buy true sight, or at least not substantial amounts of true sight from Black, and they're on the receiving end so far. I mean, I don't think the supports can afford True Sight though, with the constant techie suicide bombs to them. And now Padrino trying to get the storm, not gonna manage to do so. But he's still gonna try to fight, and Grief has some mana, so he's just ball running away. Never mind, they wanna go on Padrino now. Padrino's still rotting, and he's gonna go down to the Zeus, who's gonna steal that kill. Now, classic <laughs> Zeus play, man. Every single time they steal the kills. Every single time, but now they're going to be feeling pretty good about that kill. It's time to charge mid lane, or top lane. Don't go to the mines though. Those are that's not where you want to be. 
The Techies also has his suicide up and mass carry. Well, Techies is dead now, so he's going to get bolted down, killed off in a hurry. So we also have some potentials here for uh, tiny mag shenanigans. Toss into skewer into mines. The dream, Maybe. The dream one time. He's setting up for it. Here we go. Oh, mass carry drew the creep wave, and then he's dead. And they got detection on him for a brief second. Now they know there's mines there, so they're not going to Well, I mean, I don't know if they'll fall for it again. <laughs> Uh, Alex now in trouble fighting the Tiny and actually being hit. Wow, Tiny just one shot in pretty much that uh, that lion now going on Zeus. And who's going to be hooked away by Padrino? Padrino's completely taking him with that ultimate and Ultimate's not going down there. I mean, it's amazing, but BBC are actually winning this match for now. Yeah, slowly but surely. They're just performing well with the heroes that just have a lot of burst. And I mean, these are jank ass heroes, as I said before, but they have a lot of burst damage. And over toward mid techies, he's going to get pulled in by Storm Spirit, obliterated before he can get a single thing off. But there is mass carry up on the high ground with a blink dagger RP ready. Blink dagger RP going to connect on to avalanche toss ready and waiting. We'll kill off the Venge Spirit. Screw back on the grief. Will not kill him off. He's lucky to live, but Venge, not as much. So it's a vengeance over in the mid lane with Pudge rotating in as well. He's going to maybe run into Alex, who's packing a finger death. This line is pretty threatening right now, but only if he could get something out. Thunder God's Wrath to scout, and they're going to know exactly where Padrino is. No, but that, now, that down bottom, sorry, Slark is being doomed. He's trying to run away from the doom. He's not having much luck, though. I mean, he's using his ability to his best of his... Uh, wow, really good job. Now he's going to use his ultimate, and now he's going to manage to get a kill on the doom, maybe. Doom is trying to TP away. Is it going to be enough? It's actually going to be enough. Wow, I was surprised. And the Slark had been running there for half an hour, trying to get away from the doom, and the Thunder God's Wrath was just actually for him. Meanwhile, Zeus actually finishing him off with that uh, lightning bolt. And over towards mid lane, they jumped in and killed off the lion. Now Pudge in a nice little hidey hole, looking for another hook. Will fly and will attack. not connect. They're just going blind over there. He's now stuck in a corner. And you don't really want to chase him up this hill, because that is typically not a good idea versus techies. But uh, they'll just chase him down the old fashioned way. Ball ending swap back, a little bit of miscommunication there. But Padino will get caught anyway and should just die, and he will. 16 for 16 right now. I have no idea who's in the lead. Does it matter who's in the lead? I don't think it does because there's a giant huge remote mine nest now being built up towards the mid lane and black they don't have any detection here. Well, they, honestly, see the, they see, see him, the tech, they him. They see the techies laying down the mine so they should know what's going on. I mean they haven't bought any detection throughout the whole game like you mentioned earlier. <laughs> have they been used using the Zeus to get the mines? Or... Wow. M mostly the Ventral Spirit actually. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, it's true, the bench. Um, uh, she does have detection, so I guess she's tired of that happening. So, there's true. Yeah, or just, you know, throwing her towards the techies, saying, go scout for mines. <laughs> it's the job of the support heroes, man. It's a sad life. It's hard being a support. Yeah, man, just ask techies. <laughs> but also, like, look at this tiny. He's got the null talismans, which is... The no talismans are actually pretty good on Tiny just because he needs the base mana pool to cast spells. He's got the four staff ready as well, so he's actually able to four staff in hundred to zero most of the black team and then and then just leave. This is actually I, a legit tiny build. <laughs> I'm not even it, kidding, dude. Like this is actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, I mean, for support Tiny is the best that you can muster. Really, you don't really need that blink in this case because you have the Magnus and whatnot. So hmm. this could actually. I mean, this is actually working out pretty well for them, so I don't know what to say. They, maybe they want to play with techies more often. Dude, eventually techies will be picked more. Eventually it's going to happen. I mean, it's, it's not hard to pick, be picked more than once, so I mean, <laughs> what can I say? Mass carry is the frog Jesus up on the top lane. Yeah. He is surrounded by Lion and Zeus, and, uh, well, he doesn't really have much of hope here, I don't think. <laughs> Lightning Bolt is going to cool down soon. Thunder God's Wrath is even there for good measure. But still, praise be to Frog Jesus. Yeah. I mean, it's that moment when they pause the game and you know you're going to die because you also know the line has Finger of Death. So there's no way you're getting out of this one. But, you know, just waiting for your death. Like, waiting there calmly. All right, guys. So <clears throat> it looks like Magnus is completely screwed. And I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> going to be the truth. This is... An interesting game. This feels like the freaking all-star match, except Techies is actually doing stuff from TI4. They actually, yeah, they actually pointed out something really cool, by the way. Magnus has four wards right now on himself. 
Man, he's just stealing all the wards from the rest of his team. <laughs> just gonna like, hide them somewhere. <laughs> no, Frog Jesus. Why? <laughs> Why are they doing this? Just play the game. Is I think someone's reconnecting. Yes? No? Someone okay, I don't know. Someone disconnected, Maybe just... right? Yeah, yeah. Fry Frog. Do you think maybe it's to more psychological damage to the poor Magnus? You know, that's that's the tactic for Black. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're, you're up against the Techies and Pudge, two heroes that very much so work with the psychological advantage. You got to yeah. do something to keep the enemies on tilt. I guess just BM pause is going to be that thing. Clearly, clearly tactical pause is here uh, for that purpose. That's a good they point. Plan though, out how they're going to kill Mass Carry right now. It's like, do we just use lightning or? Do we use Finger of Death? How much How much do we engage on him? I don't think Finger of Death will, will be needed here. I, I I will bet on this, though. The Zeus will steal that kill. Just because the Zeus is playing that way throughout. Really? Because Lion has a Finger of Death, and that's a little bit better at situational kill stealing. <laughs> that's that's the new game we're playing. Situational kill stealing. Let's see let's see who can uh, kill ste steal the press, kill best. Press 1 right now if you think Totus is going to try to get the kill, or press 2 if you think Alex is going to get the kill. I'm personally in the Lion camp. I think he's kind of angry about his 0-4-2 score, and I think he wants his kill. Oh, and <laughs> Lion actually gained that kill. Mike has one point. The they both tried, though. Yeah, it was just yeah, uh, it Lion's thing came out a little bit better. Over towards mid, we're prepping for something. The... Uh, Force staff in toss back remote mine play. Is that what we're waiting for now? I, that seems legitimate, actually. <laughs> like, like you said, four staff tiny. I'm kind of surprised yeah. that he doesn't have four staff himself. And also up towards the top lane, Pudge is going to be hunting. He knows his tower Dyer's is going to be denied from him. Has been denied. And Zeus. Oh no! If Zeus is seen by this creep wave, he's dead. But they're actually going to circle each other up in the top lane. Zeus has a four staff, but that's not really going to help you that much versus a Pudge. Especially Pudge plus Magnus. Here's the hook. That's gonna whiff. Force Staff, TP. There is a Blink RP here or Blink Skewer. That's good too. And now Totus is screwed. Frog Jesus getting a little bit of revenge. And he'll get the last hit too. Just because you can. And that's gonna be Death of Zeus up towards top. Wow. As he says that. And Tiny now tossing the wrong creep into the mines. Very, very unfortunate there. Uh, so he was planning on trusting the bench there, but not quite. And they do have some detection, so they know the remote mines are there. Do you, do you think they're gonna start, you know, attacking these mines or something? They don't dare. As long as Tiny is still camping this mid lane, there's, like, it's nice to see them, but you're, you need to actually do a little bit more. Suicide grenade over towards mid. Storm Spirit, not enough time to ball lightning. It's gonna get yet another kill. If the Tiny dies right now, and that seems pretty reasonable, he's going to get swapped back into an impale. He actually is in a little bit of trouble. He's going to toss back, but not far enough. Mine's not there yet. Azer's going to die. And now these mines need someone to protect them. Looks like Techie's actually going to respawn in time, though, because of suicide. And it's, he's going to be the one. Mass carry now, trapped in the trees, is going to get himself out of there. The mines will continuously be protected. And now that Pudge is here, now it's a lot, lot more dangerous, though. Yapsor's going to take a magic missile to the face. Hook into Kidaro, though. Going to get the kill eventually. It's going to be one for one over in the mid lane. Pedrino, though, still in a lot of trouble. Now turned into Frog. The second coming of Frog Jesus is here, and Pedrino is in a lot of trouble. Mass carry RPing to the... What? Do you see this on your screen? Pud just, like, yeah. walking into the ground? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know why that happened. Uh, I also saw the, the RP is just, I think, too... Scare them away from the mines, maybe? I mean, he can actually RP and skewer them into the mines. I think, like, that's legitimate, right? Like, he can do that. Yeah, that's actually a thing. Like, you could <laughs> do that. And also, also Miracle's, like, being all boring with his Shadow Blade. Like, what, come, come on, what kind of Slark builds Shadow Blade in these types of games? Yeah, that's, that's a, like, the S4, the All-Star game. Man. He's playing seriously. <laughs> He's actually might win this game, though. He's really, really farmed, has really good items. Um, his net worth actually not that much above Storm Spirits, but look at that. He's going to go for the line, and really easy. Alex going to go down, like, to this uh, start far too easily, and he can actually go on the bench if he wants to. Uh, but the Magnus is going to be the target for these two. Now the bench being hit by the pounce plus Dark Pack. I'm gonna go down easily. The Doom is the second target for them. They have a toss ready, but it's actually not gonna be enough because he's gonna be tossed in the wrong direction. Gonna try to follow the Tiny. He has a uh, Doom available, but not gonna be used in the end. Now, I didn't realize that the toss, the way it worked, is that like it follows an aerial trajectory because he tossed the unit that was getting magic missiled. I thought magic missile would just go straight and then like 
go to the toss location, but it actually like followed him up into the air and then went back down again. I didn't know that's how it worked, but either way, uh, a couple of kills being traded. Who cares, right? We're, this, this is what we're here for, for lulls, and Radiant lulls will be had over in the mid lane because attack. more mines are being set up. Yapsor is moving the line forward, and Pajunho is looking for a hook. Blind onto Totus. Yeah. Oh, he almost forced staff right into it. <laughs> <laughs> so close. So close to that hook. And uh, interesting planned, item, by the man. way, the techies uh, building mines. Okay, so uh, they're going to wander around now looking for more. And oh no, not Kidaro. Venge is going to throw a magic missile. Will actually connect. And now Doom's going to go to town onto the Tiny. Pudge now in a little bit of trouble. Avalanche toss onto the Doom will not be his safety. And now Tiny's going to get picked off with the Pudge as well. The Absor. You're back into the mines. That's a double for the Absor. Mass carry finally making it happen, though. Grief going to give Chase Mass carry in a hell of a lot of trouble. Rip Rob, Jesus. Yapsor going to lay down a mine and Black don't dare cross that line. Also here comes Miracle. So you see the mines, you also see the invisible Slark. And that should just about be it. Black slowly starting to pull ahead with a two kill lead. But uh, again, that doesn't really matter too much when a game can be swung so easily. Yeah, this game is really anybody's game. I mean, to be honest, in some serious analysis, like, as the game goes long and takes quite a while, even if the Tiny goes for this weird build, he can transition into a carry, and obviously they have the stock which is farming efficiently, so they do have the better late game in this game. Um, and they are applying lots of pressure with the mines to allow this to happen, so that's that's pretty good strategy, actually. Uh, so, I, I mean, I guess there's some strategy within the PBC lineup, but, like, this is actually working out for them in, uh, in a serious sense. Yeah, Miracle is going for a very ordinary build. He is going to have to deal with an Aghanim Scepter Doom, and that's not something that Slark really wants to see on the other end. But if he does manage to dodge that for, you know, with however he's going to actually do it, then he'll be able to get quite a bit going. Over towards mid, Perdinho is going to get swapped right back into a Hex. Here comes the Tiny, though. Avalanche, Force Staff, looking to toss someone back. Will do it, but there's nothing here except for maybe a Suicide. The Absor is going to hold on to that one, or maybe he shouldn't have held on to that one. He will commit Suicide, but he will fail the kill. So that's a little bit of botch attempt there. And speaking of actually bottom lane, it's going to be the Storm Spirit grabbing the Tiny, getting the kill there. Another two kills for Black, and GG is called, although I don't really think that's going to be real. Uh, yeah, it's a hook in over mid, and Totus is going to get hooked back behind the remote mine, so you don't really want to help the Zeus there. Is that it? It looks like that should just about be it. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no, there's no DD in the end. That's good. <laughs> That's good to see. And the hooks, he, I mean, Pudge is kind of fishing here. Just kind of, these mines, by the way, still there. I don't think they're ever going to walk there. Like, they, uh, they just, they're waiting for that skewer or that, or that uh, hook or whatever that's going to bring them there. An interesting thing, though, you mentioned earlier, the viable tiny build. He's actually being, he's actually quite legitimate support here. Like, using the, the toss in a very positioning kind of way and, and sending him back to his teammates. Not even in the mines anymore. It's actually, I mean, I think it could work out in a real game. Yeah, I think in... It is going to require a specific kind of draft where your lanes are going to be self-sufficient so that if you pick up someone like Tiny who does so much better with farm, uh, you'll be fine giving him a little bit less farm. But if you do draft around this, it seems kind of reasonable now. Of course, it's uh, at a certain point where he already has the whole amount of farm. There will be periods of time where this Tiny is just going to be doing nothing, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It's kind of, kind of good. I don't know. Maybe sometimes good. Over towards mid, though. We have Mass Carry off to the side. He's also going to be going for a Shadow Blade because everyone should be going for one of those. And Kidaro, he's spotted out right now by Miracle. Swap back on a Mass Carry right into an Avalanche Toss, however. Bad move by the Venge. You don't want to be doing that. He's going to get punished in a hurry. And are, are we just going to like camp mid now? Is that what this game is going to turn into? Because if so, then that benefits this team with Pudge. And speaking of Pudge, throw a hook. We'll miss this time. But over in the mid lane, the tower is eventually going to be brought down. And also top lane, Mass Carry. He's going to be moving towards the Storm Spirit. There's also a very old stack of landmines here. It might be relevant, but in the meantime, they're going to kill off the line. Avalanche toss forward. Hook It's going to connect onto a creep. Padrino is going to be feeling pretty bad about that one, but more kills in the mid lane and more blood for BBC. That, that creep saving the life uh, of the Zeus, I think. And right now, in the top lane, the Gre Grief's actually ma managed to take this tower unless Magnus do something up, does something about it. He could potentially skewer him into, I guess, I mean, there's a su the suicide is available. No mana yet, but they have, no, they don't have mana even with the arcade boots. So I guess, oh, the Zeus Thunderglass Wrath actually used to kill the Pudge. Now Tiny also dying to that Doom in mid while there was action up top. And now Yavzor, the next one to go down. The RP being used. Can he get skewered into the mines? Yes, he will. And that's a dead storm. He's just been mined. Wow. They get style points for that.
It took 20 minutes, but they got him. <laughs> this the the slow con, the long con. It's real. And but over towards mid lane, like a lot more deaths happening towards BBC. Now the Sentry Ward is actually gonna get value. They're gonna be destroying most of these remote mines. They do blow up when you kill them off, but uh, one range creep seemingly out of range. Most of the reason why BBC were in the mid lane in such force was because they wanted to protect these remote mines. But uh, man, they used the old landmines up on the top lane and actually four staff onto Kidaro. <laughs> I think Zeus just tried to kill off the Venge. Yeah, they're trying to kill off each other at this point. Good times over in mid and it's gonna be mass carry to charge right in, trying to screw up someone to the mines. These mines are just barely in range of that sentry. Padrino's now here looking for a hook. He'll throw it wide and that won't land either. But uh, these, this is like a death trap in the mid lane if you're black. There's so many ways that your movement can be manipulated that you might just get randomly popped. Also Zeus ultimate. Trying to kill off Yapzor. Do you think he's going to cast it? He I might. Know. He might. He's waiting for it. Oh, uh, the S. Five, six seconds. Like, he could kill He could kill off the techies, but actually, I don't know. Could he? Yeah. 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 Grip techies. He's don't show your face, says. techies. No. <laughs> he's not uh, doing it. No. What the hell? You promised us, man. I'm kind of disappointed, actually. He's going to get tossed in, Yapzor. <laughs> Suicide the creeps. Got him. Yeah. Gotta get that farm, man. Gotta get that bloodstone. Bloodstone techies is actually pretty sweet. Can you keep those charges up? Infinite mana. So great. Oh, he's... Is he pausing to add Yabzor to his <laughs> steam list? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like he is. That actually happened. I mean, right, this so. is the friendliest auto game I've ever seen. Oh, over towards mid though, Mass Carry. Oh. He has the Shadow Amulet. Oh. Blink forward, or force that forward for the tiny RP onto a whole bunch. You're back, not far enough into the mines. That's just short. Remote Ash on the top round actually. We'll get the kill. Now everything breaks out. Grief in the middle of everything. Ball ending back and forth. It's gonna be Miracle to do most of the damage right now, but he is going to get pulled back and killed off. Only techies to survive. The landmines not quite doing enough damage there. And Yapsor now blink forward. Zeus and Doom gonna take out the techies afterwards. It looks like actually no. With a little bit of juking, Yapsor has a chance at surviving, although it's very, very slight. But he wishes he had a sentry, uh, not a sentry, a, what is it called? The stunning thing, stasis trap in his tower, but that's not going to happen either. Black, they clean house over in mid lane, and, well, BBC, that's what happens when you pick up a whole bunch of melee heroes and then techies. Man, you can't, you can't juke a Zeus, it's, it's impossible after the God's Wrath, and now they're going to take the tower, and, I mean, these guys have a pretty legitimate lineup, so they should be able to take maybe one tower, maybe even two, actually, because nobody has buyback on the BBC side. And I guess um, you were talking about earlier about Bloodstone Techies. Do you not think Agonims might be better in this case? Um, the Agonims is actually pretty good. Of course, you don't really go for a bit booster if you're going to be getting an Agonim, so it's just like what he's going to be going for. But Agonims Techies is actually pretty sweet. Like, the mines get even more dangerous. Though, I mean, they have Shadow Blade on Slark, they have the Shadow Amulet on Magnus. It's not like Black are going to be lacking True Sight anytime soon, so. I don't know, I think just like, going for more mines, eventually something will land there is better than going for really powerful mines. That's a fair point. I'm still waiting to see uh, male Trump techies. I don't know, I think it's Wagamama who did it once. Uh, I don't know if that's legitimate, but I've always wanted to try it out. With your uh, amazing attack speed of techies. <laughs> Hand of Midas, yeah. Maelstrom, next level mm -hmm. shit right there. I actually don't know. I, I, I always thought uh, his BAT was actually not that bad. Like it was small. You, um, it was uh, shorter than usual. But then again, I don't see ever techies, so I don't really know the info on them that well. Yeah, I have no idea either. Who cares? <laughs> he does have a lot of range though. Like 700 range is huge. So if by some miracle you can get very far away from your enemies and like avoid focus, then you can do a lot of work from range, but you know with mid lane, he's not able to keep his distance and he's going to get jumped on by grief, easy kill there. But it's going to be a, a slark attempt by Miracle while that's happening. I don't really think he has enough. Though he's doing a lot of damage with level 4 and power, it's going to be a pretty even fight in the Roche Pit, and Black, they know about this also. They're going to smoke up, and they're going to run into techies. Sentry Ward gets dropped, everything gets dropped. Jump forward from Grief, they're gonna make short work of Yapsor looking for a suicide. He has two ways to do it. He's gonna kill off the Venom Spirit who got a little bit too close to the remote mines though. <laughs> and Kidaro's gonna fall and Grief, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Okay, go the other way, that's good. So he's gonna be fine, but over towards the Roche Pit, Miracle still working away. They actually don't know about him, and Zeus, if he used his ultimate, they would, but 
Totus is holding on to it still. Structures are fortified. Yep, uh, not quite yet. Like he, I think he's he holds it on. He holds on to it until he can steal a kill. I'm pretty sure that's what he's been doing all the game. I haven't seen like a successful Thunder God's Wrath um, a single time. Meanwhile, Miracle failing to do the Roshan uh, proper of the BBC uh, jokey lineup, and he's kind of just waiting for a couple seconds so he can get back to full health and hopefully kill the Roshan. I don't think anyone knows he's there, even though there is a ward there. So they should have seen something. Oh, I guess he shadow bladed him. Up towards top, Alex is being stalked by Mass Carry, the classic Shadowblade Magnus looking for blood, and he will find blood over here. RP onto Totus, Avalanche Toss will be dodged because, no, he's going to pull him into the mines. So though the Avalanche Toss misses, the kill still happens. Force Taff gets spiked, so he's going to surf on that spike, and now he gets hit with a Magic Missile. Azer in a little bit of trouble right now. He still has enough mana to perform his combo. He really wants to use it onto Gadara. He needs a couple more seconds. Avalanche toss not quite going to be there. Swap is there. There's the avalanche. There's a the toss right back onto Mazakari actually. And Azer is going to be chased down by the Storm Spirit. Mazakari now stunned within the, the range of a sentry. He's going to fight to the death. We'll get the kill actually. Now up to the high ground he goes, or up to the north he goes. We'll get that escape because grief is too powerful. And Miracle, he's now riding to this fight. He has a Shadow Blade. He's going to look for the Storm Spirit, but he really doesn't want to go for that because Pedrino's already getting picked off. Nothing you can do about that. Miracle just can't do anything because Storm Spirit will reinforce no matter who Miracle decides to go up on. And over towards mid, Yapsor is also doomed. Rip Yapsor. He has no way out of this unless Doom just gives up. Okay. Well, maybe he's dead anyway, but Yapsor may be going to survive. He will die to this Necro Book if he kills it, or he'll just die anyway. Dominating. Yeah, um, uh, I guess he didn't want to be denied there. Uh, I guess there was nobody actually alive to deny him there, so really unfortunate for the poor guy. Now going for Agans, by the way, to Techies, so I guess he was listening to a cast or something, and he <laughs> decided the mines were a good idea. And now Doom is actually being stalked by Miracle. He might be pounced on. He, I mean, Miracle could probably kill him. I mean, he has a red, like, oh, is, Doom is going for Radiant. And or, and that's thinking small, man. It could be a different sacred relic. And Miracle is going to open up onto the Doom, but Grief is going to come in in a hurry and slark into the Shadow Dance. He's going to try to get away. However, he does not have Shadow Blade to get away. He has the Aegis in case he does die. It looks like that is probable. Going to get to the low ground and be spotted out by the Wave of Terror and the Creep Wave now. So, a little bit less movement speed, but he's still booking at 465 with the Drum Charge popped. And it looks like Black are going to give up. Miracle, the only one on BBC who's actually trying to play like the way the regular hero is supposed to be played. But it's not really working out too well for him just because he doesn't have any good targets. And there's sentry wards everywhere. Over towards mid, Miracle looking for Kidaro is going to start the jump on. Will buff out both the Hex Magic Missile. Swap back for Totus. RP going to connect onto two as Pudge takes one out of the fight. Alex is going to get dropped. Now Avalanche toss onto Grief and uh, the Zeus as well. That's going to be a whole bunch of casualties. Totus gets four staffed out, but he will drop the ultimate and will get the kill there. Miracle still dropping very low. Has the Aegis if things get bad. And BBC actually win a fight over in mid. Because of a nice RP, however, Rot, Doom, that's actually going to mean Pudge's suicide, luckily for the Pudge. And that should just about be it. It's a 2 for 3 over in mid. Actually, pretty I mean, pretty good fight for BBC. The, that RP was actually very, very powerful. I guess Shadow Blade plus Blink Magnus is just really OP somehow. And um, an interesting, interesting thing, by the way, Pudge, I mean, Doom did go for the Radiance. I mean, it's 30-minute Radiance. I don't think is that effective, but I guess he's going to be... The super carry this game, maybe. What is his next item? They mind rapier. Uh, radiance into assault cuirass or something like that. Seems That's seems it. standard, which is, you know, a little bit, a little bit too. It's not good in this game. You don't want to go standard, but uh, that would actually be a kind of a real build for Doom. It used to be a build that people go for, but more like. No, that, that, it was very rare when people did go for it. Yeah, or Doom did. <coughs> sorry, did become more popular after a while. So uh, the whole carry Doom, Rain's Doom, and whatnot got very unpopular. But I'm glad to see it back again. I've always been a very big advocate of it. The only issue is his lack of attack speed and you know the fact that he strength carry. But he can sort of fix that now. Alex in trouble fighting Miracle. He is probably gonna go down. Miracle just needs one more hit and he's gonna get it. And Kadaro now fighting him one on one because he doesn't really care. Miracle now forced to. 
uh, leave, but he's going to be Yulsed up, and Totos can't really do much against him. There is Padrino running in with the Yul Center. He's actually really fast. I mean, he's going to maybe hit the Zeus. There it is. Beautiful job by Padrino, but he's going to be hit under the tower. And bad stun, but a throw, and the Avalanche going to hit and kill the bench. Azer Dona now in trouble. Miracle attacking the Doom. They're having a one on one fight. He does have the Aegis, and now Pudge actually going to go down, but the Mir oh, actually Miracle going to go down as well. Aegis being popped. Can he get a kill on the Doom here? Uh, Dark Pack being used. He's not a piggy anymore, and he's going to pounce away. He's going to manage to get away. No! Grief is going to fall until the ends of the earth. He's not going to let him get away. There is the final lightning bolt from Zeus to finish him off. Ah, oh, beautiful fight. And on the on an item choice note, we got level 3 Dagon on Tiny. Yeah, that's... Uh... Okay, I said before that the more utility-ish initiating I Tiny is pretty legit. This wind. is getting to a point where he is able to 100-0 whoever he's able to toss, and that's usually going to be the case for Tinies, at least, you know, towards the softer heroes. Add a Dagon on top of that, and you're going to be doing a hell of a lot. Oh, Azer just got to get to these mines. The mines will blow up, but Grief is going to survive. There are landmines here also, though. RP is going to be dodged by the Storm Spirit as he gets off to the right side. Alex is going to eat all the landmines. Now the finger of death onto the mag, and Grief is going to live. Albeit barely. 19 bloodstone charges in the storm. I did not notice that Grief was getting this many kills without being killed. And speaking of killed, Yaps are up on top. He's in quite a bit of trouble right now. Landmine number one, not going to do anything. He is forced to suicide. And I think slowly but surely, Black are going to start pulling ahead in this game. Yeah. Uh, now, it, I mean, Black is kind of winning the game, actually. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh, with the, ra the pretty strong carry Doom. And I guess the Storm is actually really, really farmed. I guess the hope for BBC would be Miracle, because if you look at the net worth for a second, you notice that Miracle is pretty farmed and the rest are just not farmed at all. The tech is being more farmed right now than any other core in the team. And BBC heroes, they're pretty much all one-shot heroes, where, except for the Magnus maybe, but they go in with the avalanche toss combination, they get the kill and then they're done. The Pudge, he gets the hook combination and then he maybe gets the kill and then he's done as well. Over towards mid, Kadara walking into remote mines. That's gonna blow up on Lion actually. Vengeful Spirit gets to live. Miracle now into the Shadow Dance, being chased down by Grief. Has a million mana and Miracle is going to be chased down, never ending by the Storm Spirit. Grief is actually running low and Miracle getting to the shadows right now. Needs a little more regen. He will not get doomed. He's actually gonna be blocked by a Lincoln Sphere. Now he's gonna go invis for real. And turning around, there is a lightning bolt, which will not catch sight of Slark. And he's free and clear. It looks like Black, they are still not packing a gem for whatever reason. Now the reinitiation onto Totus. Pounce is going to miss, actually, as Miracle is going to decide to book it. Zeus does pick up the Pudge. Now they're going to go for the Magnus. Totus going to set up for that one with the Yule Scepter. Mass Carry lands right into a Hex, and he's going to get bolted down as well. Double kill for the Zeus. And at the same time... Slark going to run into the Doom for the up team time. Avalanche toss combination will not kill off the Doom, but the, the double damage Slark sure as hell will. Totus looking to continue this fight, but Slark is going to regenerate quite a bit right now. He's going to charge straight at Totus. He's going to purge off that rune. Now they're going to go for Grief and Totus. Miracle taking a lot of damage. Gets into the Shadow Dance, but gets killed off anyway. Now it's going to be the Tiny just kited back and forth between these two Lightning heroes. And it's going to be the Tiny's eventual death as well with Ball Lightning charging forward. Double kill for Grief. Now 53 to 39, and it looks like BBC, they're starting to fall apart. Yeah, uh, right now Black actually starting to take the domination here with the super strong Storm Spirit. Uh, he's a uh, pretty legitimate uh, core here, and he's doing a great job uh, just catching everyone out. And with that Agonims and the, the Scythe of Vice, it's very hard, hard to run, and like you said, BBC are, like you said, one shot, but even the Tiny, he used everything, including the Dagon, and he couldn't get a kill, so they're losing, losing their effectivity as the game goes on, and, you know, the cores start getting more health. So right now, it's, it's the downfall for BBC, I'm sorry, for the techies. Yeah, they need this Tiny to get... Okay, how did BBC come back? They need this Tiny and the Slark to actually just start yes, delivering some serious right click damage. They need to throw stuns the way of Grief. Or and or get a basher on Slark. I guess that kind of accomplishes both things. But yeah, this Storm Spirit, as long as there's no crowd control effects being thrown his way, he's going to be doing everything. You need so many remotes and landmines if you're going to kill him off. And even then, I mean, this is enough. Like, this nest of mines right now for techies, that'll kill off the Storm Spirit. But uh, you actually need the Storm Spirit to go in that direction. And Storm Spirit is so tanky right now that even if, if you don't land those mines, he will pretty much not die to anything else. They also need to start using the remote mines as uh, more psychological pressure near the towers and whatnot to prevent the pushes from happening once they lose the battle. And I guess that's probably the ideal thing. Like, these remote mines are really nice and they're going to get killed with them, but 
the kill is not as important as perhaps stop turning a poach or something of the sort. But uh, I guess that's their strategy here. The techies being very core in their strategy, surprisingly enough. So it, it's, it's the last chance. And I mean, Doom got not gone for AC just yet. He went for Blink instead, which I like the item because they can actually use it on the Magnus. Meanwhile, Miracle trying to catch out Grief. He has a, a, a point boost. He's going to go for Scotty, I assume. Um, the Slark? Yeah, it <laughs> should be a Scotty. I don't think it's going to be an Agam or Bloodstone anytime soon. <laughs> Slark is going to be on the hunt. However, here comes the Vision Train. Actually, no, they still don't have a gem. I think it's about time to get a gem now, but Miracle, he's stalking a couple of victims. He has an Invis Rune, so he has a lot of time to just scout everything out, and he will know exactly what's going on. Necro gets popped. Sentry Ward is down. Ball ending in for Grief. He's going to go for Yapsor. Needs to get bailed out. Hook is going to pull him into safety. Avalanche onto Grief right now. They're going to have to toss him into the mines, though. Toss fails as Grief. They're just trying to lure him a little bit closer. Blink RP. Skirt back, and the mines do go off, killing off the Storm Spirit. Kidaro in a lot of trouble, but the Thunder God's Wrath does get dropped, and the Miracle Slark is still surviving through all of this. Tiny, though, not going to be as lucky as Yapsor. Now going to try to hide in the corner. Suicide will not kill off Kidaro either. 23 he's gonna survive in grief with an instant respawn because of how many bloodstone charges he has he's gonna return to this fight only slark is alive right now and slark is not really powerful enough to take down all these heroes especially with storm spirit thrown into the mix so black should be cleaning up roshan after this one fight yeah, right now you can notice how black in terms of net worth is just kind of snowballing away storm spirit already has scotty and just and all, all his key items as well with the orchid and the bloodstone they're just so powerful, and the Stark before could maybe sold them at some point, but not anymore. And I don't think he's, I don't know if he's a match to build with Scotty by the end of the game. He can't farm anymore. And he's going to try going in for the Roche. I think he wants to get that Aegis. I don't know if he's going to be successful. He will actually steal it. There it is. There it is. And Padrino telling the Stark is there. Now Storm trying to kill Miracle, but Miracle's going to be his ultimate. He's not going to. Oh, there mind he's the ultimate's gonna run out and there it is, Miracle trapped under the storm and the doom. He's gonna go down once. Can he go down a second time? He does have the Lincolns up, I believe. Uh, no, not anymore. It, he will have that. Yeah, all those stuns are enough to finish him off. Even a doom, just to make sure he won't run away. Just to add another form of CC for good measure, Miracle is the most annoying hero for BBC outside of the techies, of course, and well, Pudge is going to throw a hook, will get Yules up into the air, there's a lot of magic damage waiting for him, here comes Grief with a million bloodstone charges still, and I have Scotty, so Padrino can't even run away even if he wanted to, that's going to be Pudge getting pulled back into his doom, Zephyr unit level 1 still, unfortunately for Kidara doesn't have the true sight there, it gets popped, but unfortunately for BBC they don't really have much of a landmine defense here, or any mine defense here, Techies putting one on the retreat path, so one person, when they leave, is probably going to die, but by the time Black actually leave, the base of BBC is going to be in tatters, if not completely destroyed. Yeah, they could, I mean, they could go for barricades here, or for, actually, I think they could go for Thorn easily, I don't, I don't think they can contest, the guys of BBC can really contest them at this point, that's what we were talking about earlier, the techies really need to put the mines in a defensive position in this situation, that way, it's the way to, you know, come back or so, but, Black, right now, uh, just going, going apeshit on really on the base and just taking every single structure. They're going to go straight for Throne. They want to end this. Wow. They want to end this super fun game? Why? <laughs> They're done. They just want their victory. They want their victory, man. They're going to clean up one tier four. Going for the second. Slark not up just yet. Aether's going to get the toss back onto Zeus. A little bit of fountain damage. Not enough, though. Looking for the secure back. Mass carry. All he wants is the Zeus. Will land it. Totus, he will die to the fountain. Yes, they also have a hook. And Kidaro is also going to die to the fountain, it looks like. Some fountain gaming right now, but the tier 4 is going to be cleaned up by Grief. And Black, they are not going to lose anyone in their retreat to any mines or anything like that, but they clean up a whole bunch of buildings over in the bottom lane. And Grief with the ball lightning is going to get pretty much to safety while TPing. So he's going to be A OK. -okay. In the meantime, Yapsor is going to push the mid lane rather far with the landmine and remote mine combination. Yapsor is going actually for no stasis. I didn't notice that before. I love stasis, man. It's one of Techie's best skills. It should be picked up. I completely agree with you. I think it's amazing. I I'd usually only pick up one level of suicide, but of course, you know, the like weird chatting as the day was actually quite successful, but I don't know. I th I, it's weird. But he you can see here his pushing power, and they actually managed to do push a lot. And now, if Miracle is fighting Alex, they're actually going to bring him down here. One more hit ought to do it. There it is. Now the Pudge is fighting the Storm. The Storm is actually going to kill Padrino rather easily here. And the Slark, who's been doomed up, has to leave because he's got nothing else to do. Acer Dodo now fighting these two and has no chance whatsoever. The Slark still running away. The Storm will catch him though. And it's he's a bait. Go Kaboom! Got him. <laughs> that was totally not worth it, but it worked.
I mean, in terms of style, I gotta say, BBC is probably winning, tower, but <laughs> the actual tower. game, it's definitely black. Yeah, what's the uh, the transfer rate of style points to uh, kill score? I'm pretty sure it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. If only there I mean, was some sort of way that you could win with style points, because right now BBC have style and then some, but uh, we it doesn't work it. if you don't win. We need that next patch, man. Um, ask Ice Frog. We need a style counter. <laughs> Style is so subjective, the Dota community is going to be outraged because some people give them more style and people are there, other people are going to be angry. But either way, Black, they have a whole bunch of heroes over in the mid lane. They have enough pushing power to take down this tier 2 without batting an eye. Now they're going to go up to the high ground. Doom has a heart, so he's more than happy to tank this tower, but they have a creep wave, so they don't even need that. The Storm Spirit's going for a Dagon because you might as well go for something like that. And this mid lane is going to be very quickly demolished by the Black side. Mass Carry has no RP. He's going to get jumped as well by Grief. With the ball lightning and Scotty, there's no way that you can actually touch the Storm Spirit. Kill stolen by the Doom, out from under the Zeus, and that's going to be mid Vax's taken. Smoke up for victory. And also, well, they'll start cleaning out these mines. Totus actually can't kill the remote mines without taking damage himself, which kind of sucks. Skewer back, Mass Carry going to miss there. Pudge not alive for his fountain tactics. And the rest of the heroes is going to keep a wide berth around the Ancient and slowly start to bring it down, whereas the Doom is just tanking the techie shots. This tech needs more DPS. They get an avalanche toss back onto the Zeus. He will yules himself, but it looks like he will die anyway. Finger death, then Rolls is going to be thrown towards Tiny. We'll get the kill there. Yapsor now going to take a Doom. He's going to get into his fountain, but Grief, I don't know if he's going to let that stick. He will get RP'd, and he's going to die right now. But he only has a 32 second respawn. And over the, off to the side, Miracle is fighting up against both the Zeus and the Venge. He's going to be close. Miracle will die in the end after getting the kill on the Doom. It's only Slark and Mag to survive, but they will be able to defend this, it looks like. Ancient not going to die just yet. Mascara are going to get hexed up. Kidaro now going to focus down. Has an Ecker unit to pop, and he will do so. Just trying to rush the Ancient down. Alex and T and uh, Zeus, they have to get themselves onto this Ancient, and it looks like it's going to be close. But Black will come away with their first win of the Pride of League, and that's it. That's a good game. Well, Techies is 2-0 in, in, oh, in, in the competitor scene, I guess. Best year ever. Man, buff techies, buff techies all day, but that's going to be it for today, guys. Brighton League Group A is going to come to a close. This was an official game, but it was also a game that had no effect on the standing, so that's why things were uh, less than serious, let's say. Black are going to get one win, but BBC are going to be the ones to advance out of this group, so well played to BBC. Put up a hell of a good fight in this game also, considering their draft, but yeah, it's going to be it for us, guys. It's going to be it for Hevla TV 1 now. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure to hit that follow button. You can follow me at Mike Loris on Twitter, and hit, you can follow my co-caster at DSwordfish on Twitter as well. Be sure to follow Hefla TV on Facebook and Twitter. It's all at .com slash Hefla TV. The VODs will be up soon. Any final words before we shut this out? Great game. Uh, glad to have joined you for this incredibly fun all-star game. All right, guys. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. See you later. GG.